in the right. Oh wow, fifty. Nobody hails the key. Just do your business. Okay. Damn. Guess I'm docking. Let's figure out uh, how this is gonna go. This is actually gonna nerve wracking a little bit. Go ahead and save before we go. Cut. Now get out of my face. You said the take was 10k, but it was 30. Big difference on 40% of 10 versus 30. You wanted 4k, you got 4k. Not my problem. If you're stealing from me, you bet your ass it's your problem. Whoa! Uh, you kidding me? Way to make a mess in front of my new rook. Hey, steal from me and get caught. Better off dead. Sounds like you did the fleet a favor. Now toss this body out of an airlock before it turns into a damn air freshener. Oh shit. The hell took you so long? Forget how to grab jump or something? So off my back. Why? Did you miss me? Please. It'd be one less sloppy rook whose mess I had to clean up. The last thing I need is another Austin rake getting cold feet. You want to leave the fleet? You pay the price. Not in credits, but in blood. Sorry to keep you waiting. Don't say that. I have my own affairs to deal with. I don't care. Time is money and you've wasted both. That ends today clear but all that aside you made it so now you get to hear a nifty history lesson pencils ready good this floating scrap heap you're standing on is called the keep used to be an old uc military star station and now it's the fleet's base of operations might look a little beat up on the outside but we keep it together. They took over an entire UC star station. Shit. Sure did. Right out from under their noses. Way before you or I were born, though. We've held this station for a very long time. Don't worry. Delgado will tell you all about it. I bet it pisses the UC off that you actually stationed here. <laughs> You think? And that's only part of it. I'll let Delgado fill you in on the whole story. He tells it better anyway. But I can give you the short version while we walk the station. Story time? Hmm, how delightful. Anyway, I'll tell you all about the key. But it's better if I show you too. Follow me. All right. I don't stock up on junk. So, the key is in orbit around Suvorov. That's the very same ice ball where the United Colonies built a supermax prison they call the Lock. The UC is so clever. Supermax prison, Lock, key, huh, cute, huh? Hello everyone, I'm Gail Dunnigan of SSNN, and this is Galactalk. My guest tonight is one of the most notorious criminals in the settled systems. His ruthlessness and desire for wealth has landed him squarely at the top of the wanted list for every major law enforcement agency in the galaxy. I am, of course, speaking of the self-appointed leader of the Crimson Fleet himself, Jasper Crix. Good evening, Mr. Crix. Good evening, Gail. Thank you for accepting my invitation. Yes, well, being blindfolded and then Grav jumped to what appears to be an abandoned mining facility isn't exactly what I call an invitation. Well, I'm sure you're not surprised that your request for an interview would come with some very specific conditions. Frankly, I was a bit surprised to receive any type of response at all. Would you mind telling me why you decided to do this interview? Because there comes a time in every pirate's life where they have to make an extremely important decision. Do they take a leap and become one of the most 
legendary pirates in history? Or do they simply sputter on, subsisting on freighters and deep space privateers? So are we to assume that you are taking the leap? That Jasper Crix is moving on to bigger and better things in his life? That's spot on, Gail. That's exactly why you're here. Interesting. Well then, would you mind sharing with us exactly what your particular leap entails? In due time. There's no rush. In fact, I'd say we have at least 12 hours before the authorities trace this broadcast. Plenty of time to discuss whatever you like. Oh. <laughs> All right then. Perhaps the best place to start this interview would be at the beginning of your career. Please, proceed. Well, that's interesting. That voice sounds so familiar. Now, we've got everything the fleet needs right here. Of course, you've got to pay for it. Remember, on the key, credits are king. What the hell is this? All right, all right, hang on, Nev. Before you get pissed, I've got my hands full. Jasmine, sweetie, I'm trying to give a tour here. So you want to tell me why those damn doors are sealed? It's called a malfunction. You know, that thing I spend most of my day dealing with. Believe me, my people are on it. Have a little faith for once. Aww. And you always, Angel. This here's Jasmine. You need anything for your ship, she's got you covered. We'll hit up the depot next since these doors have given out on us. So anyway, we were talking about the luck. About a hundred years ago, the prisoners down there rioted and took over the place. After stealing some ships, they were actually able to make it up here and took over the key. About time you brought us new blood, Neva. I was getting tired of trading with the same old faces. You're just ticked everyone's getting wise to your ridiculous prices, Aludra. Anyway, welcome to the depot, Brook. Well, you'll be lucky if these blood-sucking leeches don't bleed you completely dry. Whoa, whoa. It's not our fault that people don't appreciate how much it costs to get untraceable merchandise onto the key. Neva's just finding because she thinks she lost a ton of cash selling us a shipment of gear. She should have done her homework. Yeah, sure, laugh it up. I remember that next time I need something from you cheapskates. Let's move on. <clears throat> Back to my story. After the liberated prisoners grabbed the key, they established it as a base of operations and began pirating the spaceways. That was how the Crimson Fleet began. Of course, Jasper Cricks had a lot to do with all that, but uh, we'll get to him later. Rook, meet Zuri, queen of the rare exports. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Neuro amps, blueprints. Hit her up and she'll take care of you. Speaking of which, you still owe me for that last purchase, neighbor. It's like five figures. Don't make me collect it the hard way. <laughs> the hard way? Oh no. Rook, protect me from Zuri's vengeance. Enough of the bullshit, Zuri. I'll pay you when I pay you deal with it. Got a problem with that? Take it up with the boss. On the right, you've got Bradley from the Trade Authority. I'm sure you know the deal there. He'll buy pretty much anything, no matter how hot. Then we got our med bay on the left, run by the one and only Samina Misra. She'll patch you up, if you've got the money. We don't run any free clinics up in here, you know? Okay. This is our final stop. Over there, you've got the last Nova, where Bog serves watered-down drinks at ridiculously exorbitant prices. And right here is the most important place on the entire station, the Reckoner's Core, run by the incomparable Shinya Voss. 
Another new rook, Neva? I can't believe Delgado still lets you recruit, given what happened with the last one. You mean Austin Ray? It's been taken care of, all right? I don't like loose ends, and this rook is the one who tied it off. Perhaps next time you'll try to be a bit more discerning regarding your choices. It's far more cost-effective. Yeah, yeah, love you too, darling. Anyway, Shinya handles our lifeblood. The money. We call him our Reckoner, but if you ask me, he's actually a pain in the ass. And Neva will slit your throat if she thinks you'll bleed creds. Go to hell, boss. Take care of our new friend here, or I'll find a way to pull the pin on that little party popper in your chest. Anyway, Shinya will get you set up in our system. I've got real work to do. Once you're done, head upstairs and I'll introduce you to the boss. Time for a proper introduction. I am Shinya Voss, the official reckoner for the Crimson Fleet. And since Neva so thoughtfully mentioned it, yes, this is a bomb embedded in my chest. And no, I'll never know the meaning of the word humble. In fact, I find Delgado's idea of a security measure to be quite empowering. That's the most clever security measure I've ever seen. Glad you approve. Obviously, betrayal isn't taken lightly around here. Since I oversee the bulk of transactions and maintain all accounts for the fleet, I'm a prime target for information. Should our enemies capture me or I grew any semblance of a moral conscience, you might consider me the greatest threat we have. For Delgado, the bomb grants peace of mind and a certain degree of safety. Oh, you're a smart man. One we'll move when you're dead. Essentially. But I sleep soundly knowing I'm one of the few that can piss Delgado off and live. Should I die, all of my knowledge, the accounts, the credits, it would be a mess. He wouldn't dare. He holds the trigger, but we all know that my death cripples the fleet. Call the bomb a weapon of last resort. It's why he's the boss. Of course, I'm not the first Reckoner to bear a bomb under my ribcage, but Delgado was smart enough to continue the tradition. Now, let me get you set up. A moment while I convene with the core. Thanks to advanced modifications even Ryujin would envy, I can interface directly with our mainframe and the Galbank network. This allows me to move and clean credits faster and more efficiently than any run-of-the-mill cyber runner. There. You're done. That was quick. All you need now is Delgado's blessing, and you'll be one of us. Any other modifications I need to know about? None. Other than my chest and arm modifications, I am but a simple man. Is the interview over now? Can we get back to work? Okay. The perfect segue into my final subject. Thanks to our relations with contacts across the galaxy, we always have a steady stream of jobs available. I've granted you all the necessary permissions to access these listings at any time using the computers that surround the core. What kind of jobs? Oh, you know, smuggling, piracy, taking things that aren't yours. Nothing that should keep you up at night. Well, depending on your methods. If Neva's chosen wisely, we certainly will. Now, I believe that covers all I have to say. So you can run along to Delgado. Take the elevator to the upper level. 
You should be able to find your way from there, I hope. Mm, shifty. All right, listen up. You can all stop complaining. Atrium to cargo bay doors have been repaired. Oh, and you're welcome, Nev. <laughs> Uh, you know, I kind of want to talk to some of these people real need quick. Something? Got some health issues you need help with? First time visiting the infirmary, huh? Let me give you a piece of advice. Try not to get into too many bar fights. I'm trying to save my dwindling supplies for sale and pirates coming in off of raids. Alright. I'm practically bulletproof. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they all say, until they stumble in bleeding out on my floor. So here's what's what. You need med packs, curatives, preventatives, I've got you covered. At least as long as my current supply holds out. You need enhancers, legal or illegal? I've got those too. Hopefully that won't be often. Now, if you don't need anything else, I've got a particularly annoying supply issue to deal with. Maybe I can help you out with your supply issue. Now, there's an offer I didn't expect. If you really want to help, I'm looking for someone who can handle themselves in a public setting. As in someone who knows how to get the job done without shooting up the place. Uh, all right. What about the medical supplies on the Ragnar? That's not going to help. That ship was full of things like cots, flu shots, and children's vitamins. And I can't exactly plug a bullet wound with an Ashta chewable. Ouch. Okay. Well, you'd be one of the first. I politely requested a list of supplies from Gennady Aton at the clinic and was told the price of business has gone up. I think he's back on Aurora, and he's upcharging me to pay for it. And if there's one thing I'm not going to do, is subsidize his habit. I want you to make sure he delivers my supplies for the price we agreed on, but without raising any alarms. All right. We'll see. Talk is one thing, actions are another. Uh, did he give a reason for the price change? A bullshit one, yeah. Gennady claims prices have gone up for the clinic as a whole, and that I'm not the only doc being hit. He says if I want cheaper goods, I'm going to have to find another supplier. He even gave me a list. But I'm not turning to some third-rate doc selling meds out of their space truck. Gennady and I had a deal, and I want him to honor it. You'd think most of the injuries I treat are from run-ins with security or civilians taking a stand. But I'd say at least half are just life on the key. Brawls, egos, and plain old stupidity. At least it keeps me busy. Mm, all right. Oh, yeah. The funny thing is, he's the poster boy for upstanding moral citizens. Top of the class at nursing school, did volunteer work in backwater settlements, a reputation you could eat your food off of. Nobody knows he did it all zoned out of his mind. Nobody except his old boss, me. He said he got clean when he joined the clinic, but now I wonder. Hmm. I never do. Take care of yourself. Interesting. Huh? Brooke. Call me Brooke. Oh shit. I didn't know the guy was behind me. Yeah. There's a lot of places just to look around at. Ramps. The fleet protects our own. Come on. I want to check out these weapons. You don't make it in this life without a good weapon. Well, well. Neva's new hotshot. <laughs> I knew you'd find your way back to my little corner of the key. Everyone always does. It 
Take a look around, genius. And don't tell me you've never laid eyes on a gun before. But just in case I need to spell it out for you, the merch I carry is known as weapons and ammunition. Get it? Hey, if you want to pour credits into my pocket, you won't hear any arguments from me. I carry most of the standard hardware, you know, kinetics, electromags, energy, even a few explosives. Occasionally, I stock a few smuggled items. Basically the stuff Sisdev doesn't want you to play with. Just don't screw me over or I'll be inclined to give you a free demo. With your head as the target. Let me guess, trust issues. <laughs> oh, we all have trust issues here. A little advice, Sadiqui? The fleet's trust can't be bought. You earn it. You bleed for the fleet, the fleet bleeds for you. Pure and simple. Anyone who says otherwise is either lying or getting ready to stab you in the back. Please, I don't need your concern. All I care about is separating you from your credits. So let's leave our professional relationship at that, all right? Kinetic, electromag, energy, I got it all. I'm curious what they have. Assassin's Kraken, all right. Outbreak Coachman, not really. Drumbeat, not really. Feather, oh wow, that looks amazing. Fury. Oh shit, that's like an AK for you. Uh, AK, uh, I can't remember what it was called. It's in like, whatchamacallit, Call of Duty game. Overlight Pacifier. Pacifier is amazing. Pirate Legend, that is insane. Rescue Axe. Boomstone. Oh shit. Nasty. Uh, wow, it looks really cool. Uh, let's see. Rate of Fire. I don't know why, but I really want to get this one. <laughs> But actually, that's like, um, on. Laser sight, hair trigger, compensator, long barrel. I feel like I can probably, you know, buy this later. I think I'm just going to get the uh, standard one. Ammo. Done here? Fine by me. Looks interesting. So there I am. You see security on my tail, and I grab drive just joke. Guess I'll go upstairs now. I just want to talk to some of the shop owners. I should probably do that after I, you know, did that. Just really excited. This is honestly the go. Deep cover mission, so I'm really interested in how uh I'm gonna turn out. I doubt this is going to be quick and easy. I thought it would be, but never mind. Ah, there is our other new recruit. So, now that we are all here, it's time to get down to business. The two of you are the only rooks that have made the latest cut. The rest, well, let's just say they won't be joining us ever again. Neva's willing to put her neck on the line and vouch for you, which means you've got what it takes to join the Crimson Fleet. I won't disappoint. I'm just waiting to cash in. Won't disappoint. You'd better not disappoint, or you'll find yourself answering to me personally. All right, let's get started here. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, you're in it for the long haul. No one quits. No one retires. The only way out is death. You stay loyal or you pay the consequences. 
Fleet before friends. Fleet before family. Fleet before yourself. Hope oh, it doesn't include fleet before breakfast, because I like to sleep late. <laughs> Got it, boss. Yeah. Boss. <laughs> Good. You're getting it already. I like that. Can we get on with this? I want to get drunk at the last Nova. I'm impressed. That is the first intelligent thing you have said this entire time, Mathis. Since you two seem so eager to move forward, let's get to your next job. Pack your cold weather gear, Rooks. Where we are going, you're going to need it. Oh, God, don't tell me you're dragging him down to Suvaral for another one of your little initiation runs. Ten Johns to the surface, twelve dead Rooks. You think by now you would have given up on that goddamn campfire story? Crix's legacy is no story, neighbor. We've got fresh eyes in the fleet. And if these two want to impress, they're going to help me search those ruins. I hope you're right, Dale. That new code we grabbed for the lot cost us a ton of credits. And a decent captain. This initiation, as Neva calls it, is your chance to see where it all began. On Suvorov with Jasper Grix. Grix led the riots that gave birth to the Crimson Fleet. And if his legacy is still out there, we're going to be the ones to find it. What's this code Nova's was talking about? Through a bit of luck and a hell of a lot of cash, Neva was able to get her hands on an access code to the inside of the lock. This will be the first time someone from the Grinson fleet has set foot in there for... Well, since Grix left the place behind. It has been frustrating being this close to potential clues, but not being able to find a way through those prison walls. Before Crix left the fleet, he left a message talking about a major score. One that would set up the fleet to be a big player in the settled systems. Somewhere down the line, they started calling it Crix's legacy. And everyone who's tried to find it has wound up empty-handed, missing, or dead. If we're gonna beat those odds, we'll first need a lead. And I would wager we will find one on Subarov. Dale's leaving out the best part. That this whole search is based on a handful of words on a very old slate. Crix left a lot of big talk on that recording. And not a lot of facts. Some of us believe in it more than others. <laughs> Don't listen to her. When we get our hands on Crix's legacy, the fleet will be operating at a completely different level. We will become more than a match for UC Sistef. Won't the fleet become a bigger target for the U.S.? Yeah. You forget the U.C. is still licking its wounds from the colony wars. They don't have the capability to mount a full-scale assault. And if they were foolish enough to attack, we would have the manpower to push those pendejos right back to Jemison. If we have Grix's legacy. We'll be unstoppable. Exactly. Now you're beginning to understand. Okay, enough discussion. We have got a lot of work to do. To that end, the next stop is the lock. I've had Jazz feed the coordinates into your ship's computer. Since Mathis doesn't have a ship, he's going to ride with me. I'll see you down there, Rook. Don't keep me waiting. Oh wow, 7,000 credits. I could tell you stories that would last for hours. But now is not the time. You have a job to do, and I don't like to be kept waiting. When you... Well, if you get back to the key. I am sure you can find some copies of the interview he gave to SSNN around here. Somewhere. I think those recordings might give you the history lesson that you are looking for. Alright. I don't hey. trust shielding. I got secret compartments on my ship just in case. Fair enough. Hmm. I wonder if I can walk around here for a bit. Tell us about your arrest. Oh, my arrest. 
blast was spectacular. Definitely one for the record books. You see security sent an armada after our little fleet of ships and picked us off one by one until the remainder of us made it to the wheel. For a listener's benefit, that was the star station in orbit around Voli that you destroyed just before your arrest, correct? You see, that's what they'd have you believe, but the truth is much less sinister. There was a firefight on the wheel when they tried to bring us in. We hold up, but you see security unleashed hell. The damage they caused was catastrophic. We only surrendered so we wouldn't die when the station exploded. Well, the UC says you set demolition charges to try and cover your tracks and make your escape. That's their story. You'll have to go with your gut on what you think really happened. Anyway, they took us in and tossed us into the lock. That lovely resort they opened on Suvarov. And you were imprisoned there for how long? Well, it was supposed to be for life, Gail. <laughs> But I ended up serving two years before I decided I'd had enough. Is there any particular reason that you started the riots that eventually led to the worst prison break in United Colonies history? Yes. I'm quite proud of that, actually. I honestly didn't think it would go as well as it did. As for the reason, well, it's simple. The UC were treating us like animals. The conditions in the lock were ridiculously bad and no one cared. That's why they stuck us on that ice ball in the first place. Out of sight, out of mind. Your escape caused the deaths of many that were stationed at the lock. Some would brand that as a bit dismissive for what you're describing as a protest. If you were simply advocating for your fellow inmates, why didn't you just go through the proper channels? And what the hell was I supposed to do? Send a strongly worded letter to my duly appointed representative? Wake up. The UC only responds to actions, not words. In my mind, there was no other choice. You know what? L let's move past my time at the lock so we can get to the point of this goddamned interview. Oh, that guy's rough. Let's see if we can find some notes around here. Got some of those interviews, but that's really it. Well, let's see. Oh shit, she jumped over the table. <laughs> that is so cool. Hey, look at that. Peak performance. Where did your stellar rise to infamy begin? In the streets of New Atlantis. No parents, no godparents. Just a homeless punk kid robbing whoever he could for the credits. Were these violent crimes? Murders? I'm a bit offended you even asked that question, Gail. Sure, a few people here and there walked away with injuries, but I'm not some kind of butcher. That doesn't sound as heartless as your reputation would imply. Well, like I said, I was just a kid. Were you ever caught by the authorities in New Atlantis? Oh, dozens of times. But I'd just give them a fake name or they'd just slap me on the wrist and send me on my way. They obviously didn't think that I'd amount to anything and didn't want to waste their time with rehabilitation. What changed that? Was it the robbery in 2218? 2218? Hmm. Oh, yeah. The Galbank Archives. Very good, Gail. I see you've done your research. That would be when I rounded up a few of my buddies and we knocked the place over. Made off with a ton of credits. <sighs> my first big score. Is that why the Crimson Scar decided to bring you into their ranks? That's right. They brought me in, taught me the ropes, and I did crimes for them for five years, till I decided I wanted more. I got rid of their leader, put myself in his place, and started running the show. I've been the one in charge ever since. Was it absolutely necessary to cut his throat and leave the body on a public street in the well? On the street, reputation is everything. 
wanted everyone in the city to know that Jasper Cricks was taking over. I think they got the message. Shit. Okay, so I missed that one. Maybe I should look around a little bit more. All I really did was talk to those vendors that, uh, or that I was, um, introduced to. So I need battery clearance. Okay, uh, let's do this real quick. I actually can go to the last Nova. Maybe I'll find some information here. I found only found like three of those well, recordings. This cozy. It appears we've stumbled across the embodiment of the phrase absolute mayhem. Uh, okay. So I can't just uh, leave with this. Just take it, shit. I mean, honestly, I'll just probably sell all this. <laughs> Personal rumor. So far, I haven't really found any, like, actual Shot notes. Certainly. Let's talk about something else. How did the Crimson Scar become the Crimson Fleet? After I busted out of the lock, I decided to take things to the next level. I had the key, a few UC ships, and a couple dozen ex-cons at my side, but I needed more, so I sent out the call. Once word got around, it didn't take long for freelance pirates from every corner of the settled systems to show up. And this is how the Crimson Fleet was born. Exactly. The key became our base of operations. We spent months reinforcing our position there, making it nearly impossible to approach. What was the UC's response to the situation? First of all, UC security gave up and handed the reins over to the big guns, the UC Navy. The Navy in turn sent ships to attack the key. I'd say there have been three major attacks over the last few years. And as you can tell by the fact we're having this interview, all the attacks were embarrassing failures. Do you feel these embarrassing failures led them to form UC systems? <laughs> Absolutely. They've clearly given up and decided to shove the responsibility onto a separate division. That way, in the public eye, the UC Navy can move forward proud and strong, while UC SysDef continually takes all the blame. It's all about PR spin for them, Gail. That's how the UC operates. Kinda disgusting, don't you think? Hmm. Sounds a bit like you're trying to deflect attention off the atrocities the Crimson Fleet commits on a daily basis. Atrocities, huh? How about fighting the Freestar Collective over a bunch of rocks hanging in space? How about thousands of people dying while a bunch of pencil-pushing bastards sit in a cushy office and draw lines on a star map? Maybe the United Colonies should stop the bullshit and take a hard look in the mirror to see who the monsters really are. Oh, you got pissed because about that. Fine when the rabbit got I am looking to start something, cause I'll finish it. Good lady, I'm just uh, here to have a drink. Good. Who's she? Hey, Cap. Are you hiring? Got some baddies on my tail, and I need a place to lay low. Why you being tailed? I'm a smuggler. Getting enemies comes with a job. This time, I got in over my head and made one who's more dangerous than me. Could use a good shape. I suppose I can't rightly blame you for that. It's the Varun Zealots. Been on my tail a while. And they're easy enough to avoid in places like this, but... I'm history if they see my ship cruising around the space lanes again. Uh, that doesn't sound so bad. Welcome to my crew. If the Varun Zealots don't sound like a problem to you, then I can't wait to see what you're made of. Oh, shit. Uh, 18,000 credits. Shit, that's a lot. Uh, I think I changed my mind. Chase, indecisive. 
Yeah, I wouldn't mind, but I don't have to pay you shit. The Nola's always open for business. So is the pink. You see sis deaf is a joke. They haven't caught us yet. I don't see any notes around here. Information lies in the way. Rats. Nope. Franks. I don't see anything that's actually noteworthy from the take. I hope Bug has something strong enough to knock me out. There's some stuff here, but nothing really like jumps out. I'm guessing we'll find some information probably later on. Maybe? I don't know. I'm guessing the interviews are just. <laughs> I'm not gonna take from the tip jar. I'm not that much of an asshole. Music in the novel get you in the mood for a job. Pirate. It's nice I actually get a new follower, but I don't know if I want to pay that much for her to just join the crew. Insane. Better to stop here than down on the surface of Suvorov. Wouldn't mind taking some of these jobs too, but I'm not sure if I have enough. I guess except. Uh, no. What did I gotta get some cargo space? I don't know what to really do about that. Smuggle. What? Uh. I don't have enough cargo space. Uh, I guess except. Shit, damn. Alright, so I guess I'll just, uh, I don't know. Is Mina seeing anyone right now? Patience, I mean. I got a sword here. Don't know. Echoes of the past, back to the grind, burden of proof. Proceed to the surface. Now let's do doctor's orders. Alright, so we're doing this mission real quick. I kind of wanted to see how... Oh, there we go. That was quick. The load times in this game were amazing. Please respect priority docking for emergency patients. The clinic welcomes all. Alright, so let's go ahead and people say I need more hobbies. Writing about you, thinking about you, talking about you. That's dream right there. This guy is nuts. But now I'll go ahead and hopefully I can actually dock now, right? There we go. So I'm thinking if I do a couple of these side missions from the Crazy Fleet, I might be able to get some more evidence. I don't know. Do you need me for something? And we are locked in. It might not be Jemison, but this ship is starting to feel like home. Ma'am, I'm just a courier. I understand that. I'm not blaming you directly. Dr. Salvato, how long have you been here? About a year now, Doctor. And in that year, how many times have we had this conversation about late or missing shipments of supplies? I believe this is the third time. Yes, that sounds right. Three times. I will be making it very clear to your superiors that lives are at stake, and the clinic requires reliable transport. If your company cannot meet our needs, someone else will. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, understood. Got anything you need to offload? Trade authorities always lie. Kiosk right here for you. Uh, aid? I think I actually got some of those really bad, which my boss need to get rid of. Uh, let's see. Nope. Mystic. Nope. Noble. 
tools that, that help. Oh, never mind. Running Not sure what that was about, but... Even when there isn't an outbreak. Ranger office. Okay. See what's going on here. Is really strict about keeping supply logs. We can't afford a shortage of anything. Is there something I can help you with? You look a bit lost. I figured it was only a matter of time before she sent someone, though I was hoping she'd come herself. Look, the price of goods here has gone up. Doubled. Tripled, even. Did she not even consider a cheaper supplier? She really should. I know a supplier... I know we had a deal, but the fleet don't like paying a premium. I was hoping she'd take the hint and find another supplier. It's just, I hear about people getting treated or dying all the time due to run-ins with the fleet. How does it all shake out in the end, I don't know. Either way, it seems like I end up with lives on my conscience. Let me help, yeah? Advice from the fleet? I doubt it. Do you really want your fleet exp Uh, no. Here, there we go. Samina would make good use of them. Not like the people out there making the next cocktail to get high. Uh, I can't argue with that. I don't want to deny anyone help that truly needs it. Yeah, I hope so. I think you've convinced me. Still, I can't believe I made a deal with the Crimson Fleet. I've stashed the supplies in the storage closet just around the hall. Here's the key. Just try not to let anyone see you. I want to keep this as under the radar as possible. Fair enough. Dr. Cartwright in Aquila City said I was crazy when I called them. These poor people. I can't imagine suffering from something no one understands. It must be terribly frightening for them. How does she expect me to get all this done by myself? If you're thinking about going into medicine, just be really sure before you commit to it. Really sure. Well, I can't do anything if she's there. The doctors were nice, but I'm ready to get out of here. Someone authorized you to be in here? Just don't cause any problems. If they haven't rushed me back, it can't be that bad. Uh, let's go yeah. ahead and untalk. Docking seal released. Hold on a minute. Let's go to star map. Alright, sorry for that cut, guys. I was trying to offload all the crap I had saved up. I actually made my first outpost. I'm kind of happy about that. But I'm going to go ahead and just uh, shoot over here. I'll probably put this in the main video simply because of the fact that, you know, oh my God. I, it's too short to really, like, not do anything with. So. Plus, my ship has really seen some better days, so I'm going to need to. Nice job. 
dock. Get my ship fixed up, and I'm gonna drop off this quest. I'm also gonna take a, a little bit of a look around. I've added this in the main video simply because it feels like I can there's you can get some more clues with it. I'm also gonna look around a little bit more to see if there's any more clues I can. Um, let's see. Here. I found yeah. a few more of those interview tapes, but I didn't find all of them. Bog's Krog is fine, if you like. From what I can tell, that guy who, uh, for the most part, was a leader of the Crimson Fleet, who made the Crimson Fleet what it was, was basically kind of, you know, Are you he kind of retired, but I'm not sure if he's still alive or not. Anything ship-related? I don't mind helping, but it'll cost you. Fair enough. I should need some repairs. <sighs> Don't worry, we should be able to piece it back together. Ah, oh, thank God. Thank you. See you around. Never do a job that is man. cool. You need supplies, you hit them. Cause my ship was rough. I'm also gonna go by the Detroit Authority too. Need something? I picked up some stuff from that nightclub. Let's see I what can't we have now. Go to Business a different like system without, you know. It actually hurting me. There we go. Not bad when it made credits. No more illegal stuff in my inventory. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of. I'm gonna get rid of a constellation tag. I like to that. Uh, weapons. I'm gonna get rid of the Furious Lawgiver. No. Let's see if. One actually is better. Oh, well, I'll just sell that one. That's fine with me. I've sold one of the pacifiers. The peacekeeper, I'm going to definitely keep. Tombstone. I'm going to sell that. I, I really don't need it. And I feel bad that I actually bought it now. Kind of waste of money. Nova. I already have a fair one. Just doing some inventory management. Now, here's something interesting. I have so much of this ammo. I'm selling at least that much. Makes no sense. I can't really use it that much. Okay, and 22 caliber. It's not bad. All right. Axe helmets. Barrel. I'll sell this one, this one, this one, this one. I'll keep my that one. My utility suit. So bad. We need it. Notes. Anything I have extra? I have several books I picked up that are kind of like, like just like that. You don't really need more than one in your inventory. That's why I pick them up. Dick pick. Full injector. Save that. I had to get my mask down anyway, so... Your credits are always good at the Trade Authority. Alright, cool. And there was a piece of armor but that you, I really I liked that she <laughs> had in her inventory. Now you're speaking my language. Now, this one was really nice. So... Now, comments. I could have sworn she had that. No, it wasn't that. I saw like a um Oh shit. That's actually pretty cool. But I'm gonna go off on that. Come back and see me sometime. I could have sworn she had it. Maybe it was um it wasn't him. Maybe her? Please tell me you this better be worth it. Uh a nope. Hold on. Some stuff I actually need like aluminum, but that shit's expensive. Oh, I kinda wanna save my cash. Whatever. Right. Let's move on. Guess I won't get that armor again. I didn't actually look in here. Is there anything in here I can get or 
the wire. I'm supposed to be looking for clues, but I don't see shit. Don't even try to rip me off. I know value when I see it. Fair enough. I'm supposed to be looking for clues, Every but I don't see a single thing. Their stripes, bleeding for the fleet. If Gennady doesn't come through with those supplies, we're screwed. At least until she wants a shipment. I'm looking for clues, but I don't see anything. Tell me you've got those supplies from Gennady. I'm on the last of my med packs here. Yep, took a little convincing, but I handled it. I knew he'd come around. Bastard owes me big time. I might have to make this a regular thing. At least it's one way to get guaranteed supplies. I only need to determine Gennady's limits. I'd hate to break him. If he's not up for it, I can always steal more supplies. Uh, I can be very persuasive. Yeah. <laughs> I need love every minute of it, right? Well, I'll arrange your payment so you can get out of here. I appreciate the help. He's not too bad. Smuggling, stealing, pirating. There's a lot of ways to earn some scratch and a rep. You either put up, shut up, or die. Your choice. <gasps> Finally, what the hell? Wait, say that again. You think I'm who? Stop playing games. We both know your real name is Lionel Soto, and you know why I'm here. Who are you? Fleet? Ecliptic? An independent? I've spent two long years and every credit I had looking for you. Just so I could look you in the eye before I pulled the trigger. It was with a gun. There must be some mistake. I honestly don't know who you are. Of course you don't know who I am. You're never concerned with the death you leave in your wake, in your pursuit of greed. You killed my husband, you son of a bitch! And now I'm going to kill you! Ah, such a terrible shame. All that time and money she wasted. Ah, well. Better get rid of the body. Finally! I found one piece of evidence. Man, that was insane. That took so long. I was surprised. I didn't think I'd find anything. Look at that. Another interview. Let me just ask you one final question before we wrap up. Fine. Go ahead. When is enough going to be enough? How many credits does Jasper Crix need until he's satisfied? I should have expected you to ask such a stupid question. How the hell could you ever understand? You with your fancy education and your sheltered upbringing and your cushy media job? Me? I came from nothing. Everything I own, I've literally drawn blood to gain. There's no need to get personal. I'm simply trying to state the facts so that our listeners can make judgments of their own. Lady, I got news for you. Half of your listeners think I'm a hero. The other half are scared out of their goddamn minds. And they should be. Perhaps we should talk about something else. No. That's it. We're done. Can you guys get her the hell out of here? Make sure she takes all this sound equipment with her. Well, that's it then. Thank you for your... Actually, before you go, Gail, there's one more thing I would like to say. Yes, of course. Uh, what is it? When you broadcast this interview on SSNN, I want you to remember that I'll be listening. If you edit even one word or manipulate my voice to change anything I've said, I will hunt you down and kill you. In front of everyone. Do you understand? I, uh, I understand. You have my word. 
And this dude was evil. That's saying something. Okay, so I found one piece of evidence. I'm happy about that. Just one thing I just wanted to find. But if you just keep looking around, eventually you'll find some. I do want to find, at least try to find some. Oh shit, look at this. Uh, huh. I think I can see where this one goes. Okay. Not that one. Maybe it's this. Hold on. Nope. Too narrow. No, uh, let's undo. That work on. So that leaves one, two, three, four. Or space it. I think that works, and I think this will fit. There we go. And right here? I'm right here. for it all. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, find another piece of evidence. It's, um, it's right upstairs from the meeting room where you actually, uh, get your first mission with the Crimson Fleet. One, that's two. I found two pieces of evidence. That's really, really all I got so far. So it's they are they aren't just. Hey, there's another interview piece. Tell us what the future holds for the Crimson Fleet. <sighs> changes are coming, Gale. Huge changes. Crimson Fleet will soon be a much bigger player in this little game between the members of the settled systems. That's quite a bold statement. Would you care to elaborate? Well, let's just say that I'm on the brink of a score so large, it makes everything else pale in comparison. Beyond that, you'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> if you aren't willing to discuss the details, why grant SSNN this interview? Simple. I refuse to allow the UC to spin or bury the story, making it sound like they're in complete control of the situation. I'm gonna tell you right now, they aren't. Why does the Crimson Fleet need to make this mysterious move that you're being so evasive about? <laughs> I know Sysdef instructed you to draw this meeting out as long as possible. So let me sum this up. I intend to make sure that the Crimson Fleet becomes the United Colony's worst nightmare. And nothing, I mean nothing in this universe, will stop me from achieving that goal. There are those that would disagree with you and claim this interview is grandstanding, or worse, a recruitment tool. After all, SSNN reaches every corner of the settled systems, and your aspirations could inspire the Directionalist to turn to the fleet. You and the sheep that listen to your garbage can believe whatever the hell you want. If you were so worried about what I had to say, you wouldn't have allowed yourself to be brought here. Wow, that shit was evil as hell. But he really wanted to fight. Already coachman. Oh, that's a quest, really? Okay. 
Yeah, so I'm just looking around, seeing if Delgado needed you on the planet. I bet I am. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Tape. So, tell us about Jasper Crix's version of the Crimson Scar. All I can tell you is that under my guidance, the Crimson Scar became more influential than every other syndicate combined. Here I was, 22 years old, and I had power, people that followed my orders, and an endless stream of credits. Gail, I have to tell you, I was having the time of my life. So you'd consider extortion, robbery, burglary, kidnapping, assault, and murder to be positive life influences? No. I'd consider them as just means to an end. Those so-called crimes were merely stepping stones until I had enough wealth to buy the Crimson Scar a few spacecraft. Yes, let's talk about that. It appears you weren't satisfied with terrorizing New Atlantis alone. Oh, I've never stopped reaching, Gale. The amount of money we were making in New Atlantis was decent, but the really big scores were in space and the cargo ships. We're talking millions of credits, maybe more. <laughs> Who the hell could count it all? Most people assume this is when the UC decided to actively set up a task force to pursue the Crimson Scar. That's correct. Those idiots in charge of the United Colonies were clearly embarrassed that they had allowed the Crimson Scar to make the jump into space. They sent ships after us. Lots of ships. I almost think that they enjoy starting wars. Perhaps this was the first time you had finally reached too far. You could say that. I count my time running the Crimson Scar as a learning experience. I wouldn't say I reached too far. I'd say I reached too fast. Didn't cover all my bases. Made some stupid mistakes. One thing's for certain, though. When I was finally arrested and thrown into the lock, I had plenty to think about. The more I hear from this guy, the really, like... I don't know. Let's see, dumbbell, deck of cards. Ammo case. Oh, why not? If it's easy, I don't mind doing it. To some degree, obviously. Alright. You know what? On second thought, I don't want to know. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna steal. So after looking around for maybe a few minutes, actually, I, I took a long, deep look around. I looked almost everywhere. I think I can only find two here. Either the clues aren't that much, or I'm missing so much. Either way, I want to go ahead and continue with the main mission. Um, I don't know. They are hiding these things either very, 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 very carefully, or I'm just blind as a bat. You know what? That's that's probably the truth. <laughs> so I want to go ahead and just jump to when I get there. I know my ship prepared now. I got pretty bad beating. I picked up something you might be interested in. 
Oh, I'm glad it's actually fixed now. And I had to offload all my, like, metals and stuff I found. I'm sure they're sad to see. 